When students at Malcolm X Shabazz High School come to school, their first stop is Delhi Convocation with Principal Jamar Mills. Hearing me through a speaker every morning is not the same as being able to see me and hear me face to face. And when he sees the students, he gives them a positive start for the day. And when they leave here, the students go to class and are greeted by messages that inspire at every turn. The high school has come a long way. About four years ago, rival gangs fought in the halls. Some students hurled textbooks from the windows for fun. And in 2011, the state recommended that the school be shut down. Students were able to, you know, sneak in uh, uh, marijuana and things like that. So we would deal with that aroma and then trying to figure out where it was coming from. When Mills, the chair of the school's math department, was chosen by the Alumni Association to take over the troubled school, he knew it was their last chance to make a comeback. Mills came up with a plan. He decided that he would take all of the lessons that he learned on the football field at Montclair State University and bring them right back to the school. He appointed a dean of discipline, Darnell Grant, the head football coach of the Shabazz Bulldogs. He knew students respected the team, and he believed that if those on the team felt a sense of school pride, that pride would trickle down. Mr. Mills, our principal, is like a head coach for the staff. And we kind of put a game plan together where we wanted the football players to help and galvanize the rest of the school. But Mills had another problem. He had to get the students from outside of the classroom to inside of the classroom. Students would be in groups of hundreds, you know, kind of just congregating. And the school purchased a system to track student infractions. As soon as a student was in trouble, all of the key administrators would receive a text message. Soon, students realized they couldn't get away with doing what they wanted. Now, in his fourth year, he and his staff have bragging rights to some major improvements. Language arts proficiency jumped from 37% to 75%. Math went from 17% to 37%. I have a scholarship for football because I'm, I'm an athlete, so I'm going to Temple University come this fall. Mill says that with the work he and the staff and students have accomplished, the students feel differently about who they are and the lives they are supposed to lead. It's a road of redemption and pride, he says, that will follow these students wherever they go. In Newark, Candace Kelly, NJTV News.